So, we're gonna build a guitar neck out of off-the-shelf carbon fiber parts. I don't know if it's gonna work. It might completely fail. The carbon fiber may not be rigid enough to compensate for the string tension, but we're gonna do it anyway. I wanted to do something that had an industrial type look and feel to it. So we're using off the shelf parts and I'm not really sure I've landed on a design yet. So we're either gonna be using carbon fiber tubes or a rectangular carbon fiber tube. Let's take a look at the rectangular tube first. This is something that you can easily source. It's from China and it is the exact thickness of essentially a stock of neck blank minus a millimeter or two and it's fairly rigid probably not rigid enough and at this point it's flexing a little bit but i believe if we shorten it to a standard size neck length then it may be less flexy now, the second design choice I have is to use off-the-shelf carbon fiber tubes. These are extremely rigid. I cannot flex these at all. And my idea was to use three of them and then adhere a fingerboard on top. With three tubes, I don't think you'll have any flexing at all. So the issue is, of course, with tubes is that they're round and a fretboard is flat, and trying to adhere the two may not be very easy. I'd have to make channels underneath the fingerboard. But perhaps to make the rectangular tube more rigid, there are off-the-shelf smaller carbon fiber tubes. Now, these are also very strong, but they do flex. And I was thinking maybe I could compensate by putting them inside, and I have two here, and they could epoxy them in, one in each corner, and that might perhaps give me a little bit more rigidity. So there's quite a few options that I have, but I'm at the very, very beginning of my design stage. In fact, I'm at the conceptual stage right now. And what that means by conceptual stage is that I have a seed of an idea, which is to make a guitar neck out of off the shelf carbon fiber parts. So much like you would buy a stock piece of like neck blank, for example, I just bought a stock piece of rectangular carbon fiber tubing. And the idea is that we can source this easily. It's something that's off the shelf and it's already finished. Now I was easily able to source this from China. You get these pretty much relatively inexpensively. Same with the carbon fiber tubing. This tubing came from Amazon, relatively cheap and extremely rigid. Tubing is the way to go to build this neck, but there's so many design challenges with the tubes. The rectangular tube, however, is very similar to what we work with today with wood. It's a flat plane, which means that if I have a flat plane of a fretboard, they can adhere easily. And I can manage a whole bunch of other things too, including possibly a headstock. It's just a seed of an idea. So I'm at the conceptual stage. I have an idea of what I want to do. I just don't know how to actually implement it or deploy it. And so we're gonna go on a journey together. This journey is building an industrial style neck using off the shelf carbon fiber parts. There will probably be no wood on this neck. At least that's my concept right now, no wood. I'm thinking about adding a headstock and it'll probably be made out of bamboo. Bamboo is also easily sourced and is a renewable material. And on the Janka hardness scale, it's harder than oak. A lot of the times you find it already laminated, so that's kind of a good thing. I just don't know how it machines. I've never sanded it, I've never stained it. So we are on an uncharted path at this point in uncharted territory. I don't think anybody has ever made a guitar neck out of off the shelf tubing, but we're gonna try it. And if we fail, we fail. So let's hop on the computer and let me show you my two design ideas and let me know what you think. All right, just to kind of demonstrate what I'm thinking here, I have one of these MDF templates, courtesy of Crimson Guitars. They sent me this, which is really cool. And I get to kind of show you what this is gonna look like. So this is essentially just a standard Strat-type 
knack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our three rods, right? And we'll put them like this. You'll notice that right off the bat, it's almost a perfect fit. Now, when you're playing this like this, it's a relatively thin neck. So this is like almost thinner than a wizard neck. Very thin, right? But I think the rigidity is gonna hold. So this is the design I landed on for the carbon fiber tubes. In order for them to adhere to a flat plane, what I needed to do is create channels underneath the fretboard. So these channels go down about one, two, maybe three mil. I haven't really decided how deep I'm gonna go, but it basically allows me to seat the carbon fiber tubes into the fretboard, and it allows me to have more gluing surface because you can't glue something round to something flat. You need to have a little bit more gluing surface than that. So that's the design I landed on. So with the carbon fiber tubes in place, this is what it's gonna look like. They're seated in and they'd be epoxied in. I've opted for a staggered design. And then what we can do is add a headstock. So here I've added a piece of rich light as a headstock to allow me to screw down the headless string clamps. Now here's my first issue. The reason why this won't work is because the screws to screw down these string clamps may end up just going right through the tube into air not really hitting anything, or they might land between the tubes or on the side of the tube. So I did toy with the idea of plugging these with dowels. I toyed with the idea of insetting the clamps into the rich light and epoxying them. I toyed with a lot of ideas. In the end, I don't know if I'll use individual string clamps. I may use just one piece, like a long locking nut, but I haven't really decided. It's just an idea. And as far as the rectangular tube, well, I could make a headstock out of bamboo. But here I have the rich light with the graph tech nut and the actual carbon fiber with a headstock design that slides into the hole of the rectangle. So this is what it would look like. It's essentially just a plug that will slide right into that hole of the rectangle. So the reason why this may not work is because the height of this plug is 11.5 mil. And I'm not really sure that that's going to be big enough to stop it from snapping. Now, as far as the length, I opted to go a nice round number, which is about 50 mil. This puts us right past the first fret. This isn't an issue. It's just an arbitrary number. We can actually just grab this and make it as long as we want or as short as we want. But in this case, I don't think that is going to matter. I think what really matters is that height, I think that if there's string tension, the weakest point is right there at the seam, right there. Now, the other thing that's kind of interesting is that the heel allows me to create a normal pocket in the body. That just lets me seat this in. You'll notice that the carbon fiber rectangular tube is actually shorter than the fretboard, so the fretboard does stick out, and that just adds to that look, that industrial style look that we're going for. It's going to feel different. It'll be a different experience. You'll approach it differently, but in the end, that's fine. Obviously, I did toy with the idea of putting some wood there, but mm, I think that's just kind of weird. So those are my two ideas so far. Obviously, I don't have to make this neck with a headstock. This also could be headless. I can extend this carbon fiber tube past the nut and I can do the same thing. I can clamp it down. And that's an option that I actually might explore. It's going to be a little bit less effort than this headstock. And of course, we have the tube design, which is the one I'm leaning towards just because I think the tubes are more rigid than the rectangular tube. I just have to figure out how all this is going to fit together, especially the heel. So the heel will be sticking out like this. So how we're insetting this into the body is not a standard pocket, it's going to be basically half circles. Those are my ideas. Pretty crazy, it's a different approach, may not work, but that's what we're gonna try. Thanks for watching, take it easy.